There are two main types of chainsaw bog. And if you know the difference between the two, then you know exactly what to do in minutes to get your chainsaw back up and running again. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and some knowledge for a deeper understanding. Welcome to the Repair Specialist channel. I'm Craig, the owner and creator. And having been in the trade for around 30 years, I now make videos relating to the diagnosis and repair of small engines and machinery and how things work and why. And in layman's terms, using clear visual explanations to help you gain a deeper understanding and a firmer knowledge base. Why? Because knowledge is power. So let's get to it. And supporting this video is a free download leaflet of how to tune your chainsaw. There's a link in the description below that will take you onto my website where you can download this, as I've said, completely free. The best of it is, is it's printable and you can take it into your workspace with you and tune your chainsaw at your leisure. This video is further to my last video where I explained about the high screw being screwed in too far into the carburetor causing chainsaw bog. So what I didn't include in that video is that really there are two main types of chainsaw bog. Not the only two, but two main types. What can happen is they can give off different symptoms. And if you know those different symptoms, then you know how to treat the saw in order to get it running fine again. So both of these symptoms again relate to the high screw. The first one we've already seen where the high screw is screwed too far in causing less fuel to go through the main jet and be available in the venturi of the carburetor to run the engine. And with less fuel, bog down occurs. And then we've got another situation where the high screw is screwed too far out, making it so that there's too much fuel getting to the chainsaw's engine, far more than the engine can actually combust. And the bog sounds like this. So to just sum things up, this is bog due to a lack of fuel going into the engine. And this is bog due to too much fuel going into the engine. There's a clear distinct difference between the two. And when the engine's running correctly, it's unmistakable. So as a quick remedy then, now you know the difference between the two bog sounds. If we have chainsaw bog due to a lack of fuel, then we just unscrew the screw until it sounds more like this. But if we have the bog relating to too much fuel, meaning the screw is screwed too far out, then we screw the screw in until the chainsaw sounds more like this. 